Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfers Complete. Nathan Akin has joined Manchester City. I'm going to give you my own opinion on it and lots more information on Nathan. But anyway guys, let's get this video on the way so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more. Give us a little big hot comment if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So Nathan Akin joining Manchester City. My own opinion on Nathan, I've seen him play quite a few times in a Bournemouth shirt. So with the likes of Nathan joining Manchester City, probably a good move for Nathan if I'm all honest. He's only the age of 25, so you know the likes of only being the age of 25, you got to get at least a five year contract out Nathan, I do think. And I think that's most probably what Man City might go for, if I'm all honest. He's in the contract is the 30th of June 2022, so literally he's got a little over, no, it's not only about two years. Just over a year, year and six months, year and five months, something like that anyway. But, you know, Nathan, being a player that he is, looking at Bournemouth and the way they're going, they're sort of like the championship football uh, next season, that all goes on the Watford result. Tomorrow, as I'm recording this. So, maybe sit down in for him now and getting him could be a big bonus for Manchester City. Only the age of 25, as I said. So, 25 year old for a defender and could probably get a bit of profit for him with a little bit of experience in the blue shirt. He's got 30 appearances this season with two goals to his name. So with the likes of 30 appearances, two goals defender, he ain't even made the full Premier League Cup this season with 38 games. He's got two goals to his name, as I just mentioned, with the likes of two goals to your name for a centre back. That's not a bad thing to have really, is it? As I see Nathan and the height of him, I probably would put him in the midfield. No disrespect to Nathan, but obviously he's a centre back. His playing time is 2,595 minutes this season. So, you know, not a lot, you can say. I know he's had his injury problems this season as well. He's got 13 appearances for his country, the Netherlands. With the likes of 13 appearances for the Netherlands, obviously due to the pandemic your that's gonna be low but 13 that's not too bad either i think many city are getting a real deal here by the way he's a professional left footer a bit like myself his main position is a centre back obviously i've already stroked off on that uh, being a centre back probably replacement for john stones could well be, I and mean, the best way to keep up to date with it is subscribing to my channel, hitting the subscribe button down below, or wait to the end of this video and it will pop up. Uh, just hit my logo. And his other positions is a left back and defence midfielder. So, left back, sure. You know, I'm just trying to give you a few ideas of the left back. I don't think Man City really need a left back, but could they? give Nathan the chance there in the left back if it needs to be. He's got two citizenships, one of I've obviously spoke to you about, one is in the Netherlands which for you I don't know is Holland and he's got one with the Ivory Coast so he must have had that time in his career where he goes okay I want to play for the Netherlands but you know have two citizenships. If I did play football I would love to have two citizenships but I think I'd be granted one if I'm correct with how the football world works. He joined Bournemouth back in 2017 for £21 million. Pounds. Well, around about £21 million. So, the likes of the deal will roughly be, you know, Bournemouth making a profit to help him within the championship. But yet, Nathan Akin has joined Manchester City. Put your comments down below how do you think he'll get on 
and uh, I'll bring this video to an end so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a big hot thumbs up if you enjoy it, thanks for watching, cheers now.